And there we have it. Danny Grant is back. He has signed following um his expiration of his contract at Huddersfield. Um brilliant signing. Um I think it was one that we knew was coming over the last twenty four hours anyway. Um you know we'll be discussing the whole thing about the transfer, the whole sort of saga, you know, the whole Pats is a, is a you know, is a Pats, is a bows, is he going back is he going back to England? You know, we'll be discussing that, we'll be discussing, you know, what he can bring to the team, you know, what you know, what sort of competition he may add to the to the wingers we already have, you know, how they can even improve and um, now that he's he's come back. Um yeah, we'll just be discussing all that. Um yeah, it's been a bit of a mentally draining one to be honest. It was so confusing as to whether Obviously, we knew um, we knew there was interest there when his contract was up at Huddersfield. We sort of knew that maybe we'd be eyeing him, but you know, for him to come back, you know, he's had um, he's had a tough time in England. Obviously, when he went to Huddersfield, he wasn't there long before he got injured, um, and he had a few other problems as well, COVID. Uh, I think he, he had a, you know, a persistent run of injuries, and he, he never really got going at Huddersfield, which was which was sad because you know he'd done so well here previously, and he then he. Really deserved that move to England, um, and you know he he never quite he never quite got going at Huddersfield. He he went on loan then to Harrogate Town in League Two. We I think he made twenty five appearances for them. He, he didn't score, but he I think he got a few assists. So he did okay at Harrogate. Um, Huddersfield obviously decided to let him go then after his, his contract expired. Um, you know, he, he was probably never gonna make it there really, let's be honest. Uh which is which is disappointing for him. But, you know, I'm sure he was he was thinking, you know, maybe could I push on now and, and play for a another club in England, maybe a League One club or maybe if there's offers back home, I I might consider them. But he's he's obviously back here now and, and look, it was it was a bit of a weird one. There was a whole saga about it, you know, it looked certain that he was going to be coming back you know he, he'd been spotted at games um no it, it kind of just made sense the fact that he, he'd come back to dublin for a little bit as well you know it, it kind of just made sense that maybe if the if there was a good offer on the table for most he'd come back but you know there were rumors that maybe we had put an offer in but it wasn't quite up to the you know you know uh demands that maybe he'd want you know he's, he's obviously he, i think he was worth he was about three years in england you know he's probably thinking you know, still on a decent enough salary, you know, he's probably on over the ground a week, I'd imagine. I'd say he probably is the highest paid player at the club now, but he did take him, you know, it probably did take a, a little bit to get him to sign, um, you know, but yeah, there was, sort of, there was sort of talk that maybe the offer that we put in wasn't quite up to the standards that, he, that he, would, he would want, um, which sort of led to rumours then that maybe Pats were going to step in and, and offer him a, a better contract, which he might take. And then obviously that kind of led to a bit of anger, I suppose, on like Twitter and Instagram and, and places like that. You know, why aren't we, you know, we he's, he's, he's one of our own really, but he's one of our non-league team but you, you get it you know he, he came in and he, he really took to the club and i think he even has a tattoo with the, the daily men floodlights you know so he obviously cares about the club he loves the club and he obviously had a great time uh, when he was here before so you know people are thinking the well, boy can't be bringing back if he if he's you know if he's, he was at the club before and he's, he's looking to stay you know come back home and and stay in ireland but yeah then it kind of there was sort of talk that maybe we were still if, you know, it's still in the race, despite talk that Pats were going to step in and sign him. Uh, there was a few kind of cryptic messages being put up, a few gifts and, you know, you know, um, you know lyrics to Voulez Voulez and all that, you know, and stuff like that. And people are sort of, think, sort of thinking, oh, what's going on here? Are we, are we, is, are we, is, it, is it on? Is it off? Is he, is he, is he, has it decided to, to come to us or is he going to take the offer from Pats or is he going to go back to England? It was all a bit of a, a head wreck, to be honest, but it sort of became clear yesterday that there was going to be that there was movement that um you maybe know, there, there was talks ongoing that had reached a pretty positive stage i think dan mcdonald from the independent reported that that you know talks had reached a pretty advanced and you know um what was the word he used sort of you know positive stage and that he it looked like he was edging towards return to bows and, and it was announced today and look it's, it's a fantastic sign and i think one of the major concerns which we will talk about now sort of more in detail is, is his injury record obviously we touched on it briefly there at the start you know nearly as soon as he 
went to Huddersfield. I think he was. I think he talked about it once. I think I remember listening to him on some podcast or something saying that. Um, excuse me. Um, that he, he, I think he was meant to be on the bench for an FA Cup game for Huddersfield, and then he, he I think he pulled his hamstring or something like that. Uh, the day before the game, and obviously that's that's a big blow for him. You know, he's he, he, sure he would have been, you know, hoping to starting on the bench for a championship club in an FA Cup game. You know, you're thinking get involved now in the first team and kick on and make a name for myself in England. But obviously it didn't it didn't work out that way. He, he started getting more you know, injury concerns, a few more niggles and he never really quite got going at Huddersfield and then obviously the low and a Harrogate I'll be I'll be honest, I didn't I'll be lying to you if I'd be saying I was watching Harrogate week in, week out. I don't know really know I don't really know how he got on there. I'm just judging off what the stats are. You think he played twenty five games and got three assists, you know, it's not terrible I know it's league two it's probably similar enough standard to the league of Ireland you know maybe a little bit higher but you know you're looking at it now and thinking at least we have someone in the door now who we know can maybe guarantee us a few goals from the wings because we don't have a lot of players who can guarantee us that right now I think you know McDay has chipped in with a few I think he's got three or four this, so far this season I don't if Twardek is probably not the you know, right player you'd associate with goals either as Conley really so you know it is it was important that you know we got some some we got a winger in that can provide some goals and assists and I think Danny can just deal can deal just that it's just about keeping him fit you know we don't want to be stuck with stuck with him when you know he's on a big contract and big wages and he's injured you know it it, it wouldn't be nice but obviously he seems in a good nick now and know I've seen on social media he's been training on his own and stuff and you know he seems to be you know ready and prepared to be you know, back playing first team football and I hope he can hit the ground running you know we we, de- we desperately need something you know in attack we need a bit of flair we need a bit of quality we need better service for the strikers Afalabi Williams when he comes back from injury you know there's there's options up there now you know we look at like obviously Danny Grant would be if he's you know when fit because I have heard stuff that maybe. He mightn't be ready just yet. It could take him a few weeks to, to get going and and you know be a regular starter in the team. But I imagine if, if when he gets back to full fitness, he will be a starter, obviously. And you know you look at the players we have up there now. You have Akintunde, who can play on the left. Grant, Twardek, McDade, Connolly. Look, I know some of those players probably don't. We think we we have you know much um, much high regard amongst some fans. But look, you know. They are options there. There, there are players that you know are similar to Grant in a way. You know they are pacey, they are tricky. I think the the, the big thing for Grant for me is that he can not provide that bit of end product. You know if if we can if we have anything close to the player he was in twenty twenty, then it, it is a brilliant sign. And you know he was on he was on fire. You know in that period in, in the lockdown, you know he was scoring goals for fun, and that ultimately that's what got him to move to Huddersfield. I, I know some people would probably think. Was it the right move from in the end to go to Huddersfield? Because obviously, the League of Ireland and the Championship is is, is a big jump. Was he really going to be playing in the first team there? Probably not. He was probably going to play in the under twenty threes. But you know, could he have maybe gone to a club in League One or something? You know, where he would have played first team football. Because I think he probably would have done quite well. You know, he was flying. It was you know, it was in confidence off the back of a really good season with us. You know, he he would have gone into a club in League One and. And probably done really well and started games, but obviously the injuries probably hampered that for him, you know, with Huddersfield and he probably wasn't a hundred percent fit when he was at Harrogate either. So, you know, it's just about getting him fit now, keeping him, you know, injury free, getting a consistent run of games going and hopefully he can add something to you know, to the attack and uh, Sure, he will if 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 he's at his best. You know, when he was one of the best players in the league when he was here, he won got young player of the year for a reason in the league in twenty twenty. You know, he was really really good that year. Um, and yeah, look, it's 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 one that I think a lot of us are relieved that we got over the line. You know, there's so much talk and rumors, you know, changes and this and that. Like I said, it was quite mentally draining just scrolling through Twitter and seeing something. Someone put up something cryptic like a gif or a, yeah, something to do with. You know the chant or something, and you sort of think, oh, you know, where we is 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 it is it is this a goer? And then you might see something saying, oh, well, I don't know. And, you know, it it was a little bit confusing, but you know, look, he's a Bowers player now. He's back. He's home. Then it's it's great. You know, look, 
The main thing is, is keeping him fit. That's the main thing. If he can keep him fit, I'm sure he'll be a, a fantastic addition. You know, any fullback in this league, if you not struggle to contain him, even when he was here before, like you could tell when he first broke into the team that there's a talent there. Um, <clears throat> sorry, um, you know, I think he broke into the team around 2018-ish, and you, you could remember he scored that brace out in Sligo, and he, I think he assisted Darley. He's a uh, 99-minute winner, didn't he, in, in, in talent, and you think of God, this fella's got talent, you know, they're, they're sure there's going to be a, he's going to have a breakout season soon, and I think he did have a few injury problems when he was at the club as well, I think throughout 2019, I remember a lot of people saying, yeah, this is this is a big season for Danny Grant, he's going to break into the team and do well, and um, he did have his injury problems, you know, at the start of the season, but towards the back end of the season, you're thinking, God, this kid's unreal, that's obviously where the, the, the Danny Grant chant came from, and you know that, that the famous night out in Chicago and um you know singing it in the bar and then obviously that big um party he had back at his ma's house I think it was and yeah that you know, they were good times now hopefully he can bring them back to the to the club now and yeah look that's probably where I'll end if Danny Grant's back he's home there's no word on you know how long the contract is but look look let's keep him fit let's get him in the team and hopefully he can replicate some of the form he showed for us when he was here before so yeah that's from the end of the video make sure you like subscribe share comment down below what your thoughts are of the return of danny grant any other questions um about the shells game tomorrow uh anything really about in general about other transfers and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.